Mmm, it tastes super duper good. Hi boys and girls, it's me Tilly and I'm back with another Halloween episode. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these sugar school cookies. So let's go discover what we can find inside. and I've already made these cookies. So you can either get pre-made cookies or you can make the cookies first and then you get to decorate later because that is the most exciting part. So what you will need is some big cookies, almost as big as my face, some white icing and all of these cool little, oh wow, so many icings too. And that is it. It is so super duper easy. Okay, I'm going to move the one squeaks and I did earlier, just here for reference. And then I'm going to use that one just there. Oh no, I'm not going to use these ones because I already did the white icing ones right here. Mmm, it tastes super duper good. So here I have my cookie with white icing on already. Wait a second, did you see last time where I spoke about all the different Halloween traditions from all over the world? Well, this is another tradition from Mexico. So to start with, I'm going to use the purple. So in Spanish, the skeleton is called a calacas. So that is all of our skeleton and they decorate them on cookies, sugar skulls, and all sorts everywhere as a tradition. So let's start with some, actually I'm going to start with the black and start off with the eyes. Hmm, I think it'll go that way round just like so. Oh, one eye. <gasps> Two eyes. Whoa, okay. The skeleton is a constant symbol of the Day of the Dead in Mexico. Okay, so let's do the mouth. So if we do... Gotta make it look pretty and scary all at the same time. Whoa, there is the mouth. Let's add two little smile lines, shall we? I hope you at home are following on really, really well. And if you create these sugar skull cookies, make sure you take a picture of them and send them to me so I can appreciate all your hard work and who knows we might even be able to feature it back here in another video okay so let's do an outline of the eyes so the idea of doing these halakas is to make sure the boys and girls aren't afraid of the prospect of death and all things scary because it isn't a scary thing at all. There we go, some green lines. Let's do some swirly bits. You don't have to follow it on exactly. You can make your own versions of this at home. I think squeaks is gonna really, really enjoy this as a little snack later on. 
what's your favourite colour? My favourite colour is purple and red and green, actually. I have a lot of favourite colours. Calacas are often smiling because they're laughing at death. Okay, what shall I do next? Oh, hang on, I'm going to do some red dots just like that one. Do we think my Calacas looks happy? I think so. And do you think that it looks pretty or do you think it looks a bit scary? All the way around we go. How are you all getting on? Are you following exactly what I'm doing or are you making up your own special design? The Day of the Dead is celebrated in places like Mexico, Guatemala, and many places in South America, especially with Latino heritage. So, ooh, what do I do now? Why not? I'm going to do some more eyelashes. Just like so. And then I'm going to join up the purples. Bit of spirals and not forgetting a nose and I'm going to do the nose in green just like that and if we do some nice circle whoa I think I've completed that Sugar school cookie. I'm going to let it dry just over here and on to my next one. So for this one, I'm going to do some flowers for eyes to start off with. It's been quite tricky with these icing, that's okay. As long as we try our very best. Just like so. Okay, now time for the mouth. I'm going to do it in red this time. Flowers like these are very, very important to the Day of the Dead. Orange and yellow flowers symbolise life, whereas red flowers helps bring out the spirits and the smell of them brings them back home. How lovely is that? Okay, let's make some more little spirals. The cheeks, oh, those spirals have done a lot better than the last ones. Whoa, and let's not forget the nose. I'll do it in black this time. Cool. I'm going to do some more little swirls all around it to fill up. Just like so, whoa! Look how pretty that sugar cookie is. So today I have done two sugar school cookies. How many have you done? We'll make lots and lots ready for Halloween. But for now, I have to go. Squeaks and I really need to try these. But I'm gonna try this one first. Yummy! But for now, it's a big goodbye from me. Bye -bye. Thank you so much for watching! If you want 
to win prizes like this, please make sure you check out all of our social medias for our giveaways. And make sure you tune in every Monday, Wednesday and Friday for 